Good morning, ladies. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about, and it's going to sound super simple, but is you coming up with a de definition of what self-love means for you. For everyone, it is going to be a little bit different. What I really want you to do is focus on what it looks like for you, because what it looks like for you is going to be very different than what it looks like for me. So what do you want? And I'm not talking about, it's very easy. I posted a picture yesterday of, um, we were in Mexico and laying in a hammock and so you can see the feet and the ocean off in the distance. It's very easy in those moments to um, love ourselves, to take care of ourselves, to nurture our soul. I'm talking about in your everyday life, what does self-love mean to you? And not to your husband or your partner or your children or whoever else it is, what does it mean to you? So for example, for me, Mine actually will vary daily because um, my schedule varies daily, right? So I need to ensure that I get my basics done every day. And for me, my basics are I always listen to personal development, a minimum of half an hour a day. Um, there's free podcasts. I actually have an Audible account. So I listen to usually about a book a week. Um, and I do it first thing in the morning because I just feel like it gets my brain going in such a positive direction. I work out daily. Um, I eat well. And then I need some quiet time. That is like my ultimate day. However, that plays out. I need quiet time where I don't have like kids coming at me. I don't have... Um, I'm not on social media. I'm not... It just has to be quiet time for me to just like... And I figured out that over the years because of learning more about myself, but I also realized that I am, even though I can do these videos and I'm a fitness instructor and a teacher, I'm an introvert. So I need that time for me to regroup. But what, what self-love looks like for me is very different than what it looks like for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to write it out. What does it, in a day, your daily life, okay? So if you work full time, um, how does it look for you. What do you want? And this is the key part of this video is what do you want to happen? And the reason I say it so strongly and so um, enthusiastically is because the number of people that I talk to, the number of women that I work with who can tell me what they don't want. They don't want to feel tired. They don't want to have... Um, feel frustrated with their kids. They don't want to feel um, like they're burning the end, the candle at both ends. Um, they don't want to feel fat. They don't want to feel lazy. They don't want to feel, they tell me everything that they don't want. What do you want instead? What do you want instead, right? So if you're someone, like for me, I used to suffer severely with depression and anxiety. And if you had asked me seven years ago what, what self-love meant to, be, to me, I would have said, I don't want to feel depressed and I don't want to feel anxious. Well, guess what my brain hears? Depressed and anxious. So guess what I feel all the time? Depressed and anxious. So I used to feel that way. All right? And this is where linguistically we need to focus on what we want. I want to feel calm. I want to feel energetic. I want to feel positive. I want to feel, um, and so what does that look like for you? And write it out. What do you want? Ciao.